more for God. Oh, right here. Oh, a new card? Yeah, I thought I'd put one in just to make sure. Yes, we will hold off on that. There should be two in there. <coughs> uh, oh, this is the most recent one. That's what. No, it's in the signing thing. Yeah, there should be two from there. One's in old one that we already took care of.
like they did a detailed on-site audit of the facility. And nothing's changed. Take down your name. What's your name? Uh, John Lavin. I, I did talk to Avatar briefly in December. Okay. And a young gentleman said that he said the pond looked different. <clears throat> and I tried to explain to him it's not waterfront, it's a fire pond for the development. Mm -hmm. So if anything, it should be a credit there, not an extra charge. So I tried to explain it, but I think he still continued with the land. Piece. And then he made a comment that. I could put apartments because it's such a big house, but I don't have apartments. We had little places for our kids when they were going to college, mm -hmm. but we don't rent to anybody. It's myself and my wife. And, uh, and again, so that comment really doesn't mean anything. What's, the, what's your address, Mr. Uh, 31 Moses Cop. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you write down here? I don't want you to have to go now. Your phone number on the video camera. Why don't you write that down for me, please? See if we can get someone from Avatar to uh, give your call back and, and that's what conversation. They, well, that's what they did the last two times. They came out and sat down with me, and I kind of went through everything with them. Uh -huh. Last time they had me listed as two, two swimming pools, uh, double the square footage, and they did a walkthrough. And this time they came back out, and they went right through it thoroughly, mm -hmm. and uh, they cleaned it all up. Okay. And it looks like we just went back to where we were before. Okay. So let, let us reach out to Avatar and, and see what uh, the next step may be. Okay. Yeah, you know, we'll meet with them and do whatever we need to do to avoid anything else. Right? I believe we're past the uh, the abatement period for this year. The deadline was... We filed an abatement. You did file? Oh, I'm, next, I'm sorry. I, yeah. I, you know, we've already just talked about that. It's an appeal. He has to he file an appeal. appeal. We're filing an appeal. So let me, okay. let me yes. reach out to Avatar. Or we'll reach out to Avatar and see what the next step may be. They may be contacting me directly or, okay. or, or, or how we have to proceed. We'll is there a formal way. appeal process? There is a formal appeal process, and, and that was noted. So the appeal between the, uh, the uh, New Hampshire, the yeah. state of New Hampshire? Yeah, and if I do follow that, then I have to bring lawyers in and everything. I'm hoping I can resolve this with Avatar. Oh, but there's no formal with Avatar appealing? There's the not. The okay. next step is the appeal. To go to the state, I believe. Okay. Okay. <coughs> tax lawyers and law. Uh, last time we were able to sit down and rationalize what it was really worth. And they made quite a few concessions after they figured out. Again, doing a drive-by in a billion-dollar house, you can't you can't assess it fairly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll follow up with them, and um, we'll let you know what they they believe the next step is. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you have a six thirty appointment, right? I was on the agenda. For six thirty. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you come on up? And then Lily, you here for the board too? Okay. Well, I don't it should be clear. All right, so we have asked you here in your capacity as tax collector to um, to review um, your suggestion that we um, we eliminate the residence tax and the inventories, um, this is the um, the state inventories. And so I think we had um, we had a couple of questions. And it's been a while since you sent the original email, so I apologize. But we had a few concerns about lost lost revenue potentially, and um, whether or not information was lost, that sort of thing. So why don't we? Do, do you want to? I know you had a number of questions. Do you well, want to start? Well, I just think that maybe she should just plead <coughs> your case of why you think it should go. Well, away. it actually isn't my case. I, I mean, well, we are we are only one of two communities left within mm -hmm. the state of New Hampshire. The state is 259 town cities and unincorporated townships, one of two. Right. I think that speaks for itself, um, personally. It's an antiquated revenue stream. Um, if you'd like to sit in our office on any day or any number of days, it's a thorn in, in resident sides. Um, and that is basically, it, it's trying to get blood from a stone. <coughs> residents feel about resident tax. Um, it's not a good way to collect revenue. Do you have a recommended source to make up the loss of those funds? I know it's not, it's not the largest line in our It's really stream, not. But. And, you know, if you take the, <coughs> the warrant number and reduce by the abatements um, that come, the warrant, I want to say, let's see, the warrant for 2017 
was 16,630. Okay. We abate approximately, do? yeah, we, we collect approximately half of that. Okay, so. So, um, who's, who's paying the other half? That I don't know. I don't do the budgets here. So I don't know what portion of this revenue you folks include in the line item. Right. So if it, you know, if it is being collected, it's being collected by taxpayers anyway. Okay. It's 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 just a hidden. Right. Um, so if you think you're collecting 16 and we're only collecting nine, someone's making up the difference, and I assume it's property owners. Yeah. The residence tax. The warrant is for 16 plus thousand. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. However many folks are in the database times the ten dollars. So this year it was sixteen six thirty. So how come we cannot collect it all if they can't register their car without paying it? People don't all register vehicles here. It's a it's a it's the former head and pole tax, and then they mm -hmm. changed it to the resident tax. So not every inhabitant of the town comes in and proves themselves as a resident. We have a huge population of people here that we don't even know about. More than half is is not paying it or not registering vehicles. Correct. Or they move That's before they're due. Some of them turn sixty-five during the year. And they they come off pay. anyway. Yeah. Okay. So. And there are people that come in and, and just turn eighteen and they get. Right. <laughs> so right. I mean, well, yeah. It sure. Be a wash sure. That, so I get that. So um, the other item is the inventories. Right. Um, we collect, what is this? it's due on tax day, right, on the 15th of the Yeah, that comes due on the 15th, and the penalties are punitive penalties. Right. None of the data in the form is utilized for any purpose here at Rollins. Right? What do we do with the, with the, with the, penalty, with the, with the forms once we collect them? Honestly, what do we do with them? They sit in the yeah. lines office. We don't and them. I think they're thrown away at some point. Oh, they're moved upstairs. upstairs. <laughs> the state probably requires we keep them for X amount of years. There could be a requirement for so many years, probably seven years. Um, so how is that information collected? And that, then if we don't, uh, captured, if we don't have to enter it in off the inventories? If there are building permits or? There is no information. I mean, again, as a property owner, you could choose to include that you've done improvements you or it. not include it. And more often than not, it's not included. You can choose to say you're renting a room in your house. Or <coughs> so it, it really is, it's an honor system. You know, there were people when it had dog information. There were people that would include dogs. There were people that would include dogs. Did they take, did the state take that off? They did. Okay, so that really was the only. That was the only piece. The right, and that was taken off two years ago. Okay. But wasn't it, um, when you were listing the household members and the children in there, wasn't that utilized by the school system? Many years ago. And why did, why did they stop? You'd have to ask the school. I don't know. Well, why don't we just send it to them? They don't utilize the information. I mean, you can look at the forms. That I, I fill it out every year. I know what it looks like. But half the people don't include the information. They're they're blank. They're signed. They check off a couple boxes and they sign it and send it back. So. Do you know off the top of your head what we collect in penalties for people that forget their instrument? I want to say it's right around ten thousand. So we're collecting revenue because people forget to. Pretty much, turn it's, in the... it, it is strictly punitive, and it's anywhere from ten to fifty, depending on the assessed value of the home. Okay. All right. Are there other questions? <coughs> okay. I think we're clearer on the uh, on the inventories, about well, the information at least. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other questions about residence tags. How many, um, maybe you may not know, how many um, residents would you would you say are 65 or older that are, don't actually have to pay the, the residence tax any longer? There's no way to know. We don't have that you information. You don't keep track of that. Okay. Right. We, you know. Once you're off, you're off. Once you're off, you're gone. Yeah. yeah. And. We don't use it for um, to keep track of um, sort of more the transient population. Like the it doesn't define who is an owner and who is right. a renter, so okay. it's names and addresses, and that's it. And that's it. Okay. So, so it's not it's not something that we could really even utilize to say who is a renter here okay. in town. So. Right. 
and the you know, in, it, inventories as well. So it, it was exactly. a property owner. So. Yeah, and most of the time the inventories, again, they're not completed. All right. Do you have any other questions? All right. Well, the resident taxes can be done away with by warrant article. I wanted to make you folks aware of that as well. <coughs> have commented that well we'll just start a petition and we'll have it taken out. They say that every year and it's, it hasn't happened so. Happened <laughs> yeah. so. All right, well fair enough. Yeah, so whether or not this is the year that it happens, who knows. All right. I don't know what What's that? Takes it off our plate. Yeah. If they act, if they actually do it. So. It just really is just a thorn in, in everyone's side when they come in and have to pay a resident tax. And you know, and to come in and do business here at the town of Rollinsburg, I don't think that we should be trying to aggravate folks. If we can eliminate something that is just a cause of... You gotcha. Okay. So we will, uh, I think we just needed to have uh, that conversation with you and understand what the, um, what the rationale is behind some of these suggestions. That's all. Yeah. And you may want to speak to Tom, too, the auditor, because I know he he would support doing away with it. He, in the last couple of years, has, has said that we should do away with it. Because um, it's a... I'm not sure what portion of the audit that, you know, we're paying to have him try to do that for resident taxes, but it is a difficult thing to audit, so I'm sure it's, it's significant. This is our new road, well not so new anymore, our newish road agent, uh, George Clement. Oh, I don't think I've seen you outside your truck. <laughs> to the SAU office, 
they should be able to verify that you have supported, that you live in Rollins. This child didn't go to school in the, in the Rollins district? She did a couple of years ago, but she's she, from Oklahoma. Okay, That's so she's her last out and then she's going in. Yes. Yeah, so okay, and so you in. have, you have, Guardian well, check. whatever. Yeah. Okay, so I would try the SAU office. Okay. I would talk to Katie Krebs, who is and now the business, the right now right now the business administrator. Now the new superintendent just started, so I'm not quite sure. Um, he would probably consult with Katie because she's been there the longest. Thank you. But I would, um, I would um, call the SAU office tomorrow and talk to Katie and find out what has to be done to get your child mm -hmm. in there. And if you just have to bring those, maybe they need just phone call to okay. the yeah, uh, the office really in. It's not an SAU. It's a SAD, SAD or something, whatever. whatever. Sad and Superintendent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. and they should one on one. Superintendent saying, "Yeah, she's clear. I'm, I don't understand this. I, I, I really don't. I've I don't know. Never maybe heard it's a of rule that. that. This, this is a school of choice. Well, they, they said it was from the town of Rollins. Because I, honestly, when I when I registered our daughter, we didn't have to do that. So, I mean, I know it was to go to the grade school. I kind of made it all those kids that are going. No, to I don't think so either. I had to do that. I don't think so either. First of all, sorry you had a problem today. We did. But I do think that the next, honestly, we should probably call the SAU. Yep. Which are, they handle I'm happy to do that. All that I started stuff, right? here, and, and that was a suggestion. Yep. So right. I would I'm sorry about that. I'm but I, I know, um, I think someone else asked us something about residency last year, maybe. And it was the, the, the town clerk where we looked at was the only person that can. But that it was about register, register in school, was it? No, it was register a car. Yeah. yeah right. see, but I mean, still, I mean, it was how do you declare residency? We aren't well, allowed to. Did well, and I know that little slip, it's, it's ironic that we're, I just sort of heard yeah. conversation about right. getting rid of that residency thing because I was told today, if I didn't have that, there was no way to know that I was a resident of Rollinsford. Well, you couldn't look it up at your paper? I, yeah. <clears throat> it was not a pleasant conversation right, well, at all. Well. I, would bring, I, I bring your tax bill as well, just to prove I will. Okay. Yeah. And, and a photo ID. I have okay. my phone ID. And I think it's so you can help you. Okay. I do. Thank you. And, and if they don't let me know. Too. I mean, yeah. bring, bring the, the whatever. The, like, the yep. Yep. And no, the but I mean, let's show that you actually live in the town. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Bill. Yeah. Yeah. And well, I'll bring all three of them. That's what they said. I mean, you could own the property and be renting that. Well, property. right, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's because I, I, I knew the principal and she knew who I was, and I still had to prove, you know, that's the rule. Oh, yeah. 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 No, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. But I went home and looked for that little tag, and I could I could not. Here. Well, they have it. That yeah. was going to be. Okay. Um, that was right. going to be. Thank you. Sorry about that. Thank you very much. Okay, thank have a good you. one. You too. Any other community input? <coughs> I just have a quick question. All right. So, seeing no other community, come on up. <laughs> Highway.
Five. You want it for the yeah. No, I'd like it for the minutes. For the minutes. Yeah. So she, well, she does it electronically, yeah, so it just sticks in. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. All right, so hold on. All right. Email. Right. 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 So um, I know you worked. In, we have money in the, in the culvert fund for the to, to do the culvert part of the culvert on Sligo. We need to. How are we? I, I, I honestly don't believe we're going to touch it this year. Okay. It's the rain has proven again to make it pretty dramatic time. the other day. So okay. Without any issues, we're going to. I'm going to see if we get the fire truck down there again. See if I can. Okay. Sorry. There's only a small section of gravel in there right now that we can see what the rest of that top looks like. So it's your. Uh, your your um, suggestion then that we would go ahead and, and do Oak Street? I would definitely do Oak Street because if we don't, we'll be there in the middle of winter paper again. I really don't want to pay them. On our side, though, our side. side's going to be fine. Right, their side right. will be done. Yeah. Our uh, side. No, actually, well, he told me, he said, well, we'll be all here together doing this if we don't do something. Right. Well, I know, but they're going to go ahead and do theirs. They're not going to do it if we don't come. If we don't go go ahead, they're not doing it. Oh, okay. And the trucks are going to be out there this week to do it? Yeah, you're going to do overpayment, and that's why the price is good in this, because they're going to balance. Good, in other words. Okay. All right. Well, if you feel that we can uh, we can make it work within your existing budget, overpayment, there's an opportunity. Yeah, there's yeah, certainly a, excuse me, a road that the residents have complained about daily for the last couple of years, so. Okay. Do you want, do you have a... I can do a I don't know if they can build you, how that works. So why don't we do so you're this? Just the blessing and why then don't you're we going to follow up? Don't follow up. Don't follow up. So am I. Okay. So we need some answers. Okay. So what? We'll, why don't we? Um, What's the meeting? Why don't we? Window? So tomorrow, well, tomorrow we're meeting with um, Bill Belanger. Bill Belanger. Okay. And store discuss Oak Street. Okay. And <clears throat> going forward, what the MOU or MAU will look like for maintenance. So. Okay. And they're on paving now. All right, so to make it official, why don't we have a, a motion to, to, to move forward with the uh, payment of Rollins account to finish Oak Street or Sherman overlay for Oak Street with a purchase order to follow once we're built. Okay, I'll make a motion that we um, <coughs> proceed with the um, paving on Oak Street and George will follow up with a PO. Second. All those, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, Judge. Well, we'll we've got approval to move forward with that, and then we'll have more answers tomorrow after our meeting when, when the billing and all that will happen. Um, we have a, a letter that's been drafted, hasn't been printed yet, I don't believe, to Mr. Massey about the transfer station. Is it in that folder by any chance? You're aware of who the individual was and how they, and all the employees down there are aware. So that's not an issue, right? So I don't either, but there are certain people who think we should send this letter or something. We'll see. Yep, it's right here. Oh, you just saying Yeah, it's here. It's printed. Alright. Does it have your edit? That's you made an edit, I think. Yeah. Didn't you? Um, I no, you it doesn't. Alright, then we're not gonna sign it. Yep. Your edit was well, fine. Well, right, thank you. Typing it quickly. Yep. Today, so. All right, so we're going to hold off one more week to send that, but you're, all the employees are, are aware or to look out for that. The other issue is Foundry Street uh, on the Silver yep. Street end. I saw that on Wellington. Yeah, I saw it too. On Facebook, yeah. and I, I did note on there that we are working with Pike, Pike is aware of it, because I made them aware of it when I first started. Right. So they're aware of it, and they're and handling they, it? They are going to have show them. Bill yeah. come over and grind that and pay that, and you're going to actually fix the corner of uh, Sligo where they turned in and put that up. At no cost to us. No cost perfect. to the town. All right, perfect. Thanks, Thanks George. Take care of it. Happy to hear that. I actually followed up with Chris today. I'm waiting to hear back from him. Okay. Awesome. So we can get this moving before winter shows up. Awesome.
Very good. That makes us all very happy. Uh, is there anything else for us tonight? Somebody signed the PO, I mean the uh, quote from uh, Atlantic. I gave it back to Caroline. It's it in here. No problem. Let's see if it's in there. Yeah. Uh, you, signed, you signed the purchase order and he wanted to quote something also. He did sign the purchase order. He signed what we wanted, so. It's not a mid or if it's not there, I might have a green folder. So. Okay. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's helpful to sign on the bottom there. Come on. So this is. Uh, make sure it matches. Yes, that's what we had in sign. The bottom there. Different amount that was on the uh, on the purchase order. It actually comes out to uh, Signing something different than what we agreed to last week. Alright, perfect. Do you want to take this? Do you have to go back to Caroline now? I'll give it to my school. Okay. Okay, perfect. Anything else for us, George? Anybody else would like to? So we'll, we'll send out a, 
I think we should go. We'll have, go up, yeah. um, add that to our list of things we can take care of tomorrow. Notice of select for vacancy. Alright. Elsa, come on up. Please. These ladies were here before me. <coughs> no, permanent no, registration. No, we're no, permanent. No, sorry, I said ladies before. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, the road agent has kindly. Return to me. I just wanted to, to express my concern about the state of the Church Street grade crossing. It's dangerous. It's, it's, it's worse when you come back out than when you go in. But it's, there's a crevasse forming betwixt the uh, pavement and the track, and um, that could have an effect on the on the width of the track, and you could have a derailment there in the middle of good old downtown Salmon Falls. Right. I've wanted to come in for the last five weeks, but you know, I'm now. We will take it up with a road agent and uh, Is this what Ed was talking about, George? No, he wants to. We want to change the stop sign. Oh, oh, it's just this the stop sign. Different. No, so no I, actually, I, I stopped and talked to the guys from the railroad last week. You may want to go and eyeball it. But is it is it town or railroad? Railroad owns that. So, so they have to do it? Do. Okay, so we would need to send a letter to the railroad? Okay. Uh, I think we're going to have to. Better. It's, uh, it's, it's not good. Yeah. I spoke with the railroad last week and he said, good luck. Mm -hmm. I said, really? He okay. said, when the train comes over this, you can actually see the water coming out of the ground underneath the job. And that we rebuilt it. But they railroad owns that, not us. Mm -hmm. If the water's in there during the winter, it's going to freeze and it's going to exacerbate the problem. That big chunk of hot top that we moved because the train settled in and pushed the hot top to the bottom of the train. So there is, they know there's an issue there. Okay. But it's their crossing, they need to deal with it? I uh, would think it's their property. We don't do great crossing. Well, if you get a derailment, it'll be your problem. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Nelson. You're welcome. Well, uh, well, uh, yeah, we'll push. Yeah. We will nice pursue meeting. it. We appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, all right. I was going to bring that up to the transportation safety, too. That would, be, that would be a good idea. You can leave it open, Nelson. I'm sorry. Thank you. Now that I'm gone, we can leave it open. Well, it was, it was a little hard to get it started. Um, yeah. You'll bring it up to the transportation. Yeah, we're supposed to have a meeting next. I, he's trying to schedule a meeting for this month. Perfect. Okay. And Perfect. I will bring that crossing up because, uh, yeah, it's getting, it's down a couple inches. We're, we're going to hit it with a plow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's, it's moving, and they, you know, I said to him, I said, he said, well, you're going to have to notify the railroad. He said, well, good luck. I said, what do you mean good luck? He said, well, they don't like spending money on stuff like this. I said, oh, well, somebody's going to be spending some money on it. Right. Didn't they just rebuild that? I mean, it's probably longer than I think, but... I don't remember what Within the last 10 years, right? Yeah, probably. I would think. I'm well, sorry. They're running trains over there at 60 miles an hour. They're well, that's on true. The that's true. More often than not, running for yeah. any track, would appreciate them doing it. And that's why, they, that's why they have slowed down. They've actually got it on a 30-mile speed limit because the track is moving it. So they know about the situation. Okay. Now to get them to move on it. All right. Can we stop them from going through? I doubt it. All right. Well, well, if you can bring it up to the station. That's right, why I, I want to check it. with them and see what our avenues are. Okay. And then we can uh, we'll figure it out from there. All right. Awesome. Is, is, that, is that freight as well as the Amtrak? Everything yeah, goes yeah. Everything goes over. Okay. But I think Pan Am owns the, the railroad, and I think, they, I think they own the line. Yeah. Yeah. Pan Am. So, yeah. Thanks. You know what? They're. Uh, <laughs> they can be difficult at times. Okay. So, so budgets. All right. Good. Thank I'm you, Jeff. Good night. Thank you. Town hall maintenance portico. I have reached out again to um, Mr. Alley, who's on the historic committee and the uh, planning board. I now know why he hasn't had time to respond. He's. Um, sent us an email. He's going to be out of town for several months. Yeah. He's moving out of town temporarily, at least temporarily for now, for a job. And then, so we're going to have to pursue other avenues, I think. So I will reach out to uh, some other folks. Uh, see if we can figure it out. Uh, perhaps, um, I thought I'd start with Peter Misha, only because he has connections with Historic New England and um, the State Historical Resources. It really doesn't work there anymore. Um, see if they have any suggestions for our for, uh, carpenters. That might be able to give an estimate. All right. Uh, the transition plan. We 
um, get printed out? I didn't print it out, but we should discuss on the on my phone. What um, uh, Suzanne has suggested as a, a transition plan after her departure. And uh, you are anxious to discuss it as well. Give me a second, I'll pull it up. You go ahead, you can let me know uh, your thoughts if you want, as I pull it up. I promise on this. Did I get copied on this? Yeah, I remember she, she emailed it to us last month. Never outside of time. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. You were on vacation. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're right. Let me see. It was on um, uh, July 31st at 7.49 a.m. So she had suggested that we needed to hire a uh, part-time bookkeeper oh, oh, okay. and um, okay. and bump up our, our administrative assistant slash bookkeeper, current bookkeeper, mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know how I feel about this, um, but um, I'm anxious to hear what you have to say. I don't want to... I don't want to well, color the conversation from the get-go. Okay, like but I, I know that Suzanne did a lot of work mm -hmm. during the day yep. and was here a lot. Yep. So I don't know how you're going to replace that time and, and from the select boards that are sitting here because we both work full-time. Right. So I think we have to at least increase Caroline's time. Mm -hmm. And that's only five hours, right? I mean, it, a week. Six hours. I think okay, we have yeah. Time. So, I don't know if she can even cover all of what. Yeah. I she's 30 32, 32 hours a week. Oh, she's 32. So we, okay. we went to four, yeah, eight hours. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if she could um, cover that, you know. I don't know. I, um, I guess I should have started the conversation, but I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I mean, looking at this again, and. I have some real problems with uh, some of the suggested um, cuts or places where they're proposing to get some of this money. I think that it, it is probably very reasonable and it's going to be very necessary, whether or not Suzanne left or not, uh, that we, we need our administrative assistant to be here more hours. Mm -hmm. um, I did have a conversation with her today and some of the redundancies from a bookkeeper would it would be important from a managerial point of view? You know, we remember when um, when Ed left as a select board member, he pretty much did everything. <laughs> when Beverly left as um, administrative assistant, she did everything. Mm -hmm. And those two people left at the same time, and we were left with <coughs> a lot of learning and catching up to do uh, <coughs> because two people did everything, and there was no redundancy. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't want that to happen again. I don't think it's necessarily appropriate to add a new staff member in uh, the middle of a fiscal year. I think that should be done through the budgetary process in the fall, in, in the, in the uh, winter time, to be honest with you. Uh, although it may still be necessary. Um, Even if it's a temporary position until yeah, budget? I, th I think, honestly, that with the increase in, in Caroline's hours, uh, I think that we will be able to manage it. Will it be perfect? No. Will it require a little more effort on, at least my part, for, net, for the short term? Yes. But I think that's something that's going to have to happen. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think it's, I am not going to support removing, well, what is it, $3,000 from community assistance when in good faith we made an, effort, made an agreement with these people that, can you imagine <laughs> cutting, telling cat? And we're not going to give them their thousand dollars, and then the next week we've got to go and say, "Oh, by the way, you're going to pay the first month's and last month's rent for one of our welfare cases." That's what we do all the time. Mm -hmm. and how could we do that? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I couldn't do it personally. Mm -hmm. um, um, and you know, bless her. I didn't want to argue with her when she was here, but I would tell talk to her about it now as a private citizen. But taking her stipend, I have a real problem with that. It's it's one-time money. It's not. It's 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 a it's a but it's a it's a member of the board 
dictating how money that was appropriated one other way should be spent. Last budget cycle, before you came on board, there was a very reasonable, I thought, a proposal to, to provide uh, dental insurance to, um, to town employees. Jody wanted to, I, I think still, we should be trying to do this. It's important to retain good staff. She was willing to take her salary to fund that line, which is very noble, but it's not right. That's not how we should be doing municipal budget. And this, to me, is the same exact thing. And we poo pooed that and said it wasn't allowed because that's not how we budget. I don't see why we would do it here then. Um, what's the other direction? I, it's noble, and I, I applaud her for sacrificing that she put a lot of work in, but it's not, if she doesn't want to collect the salary, that's different. But I, I don't think we should be doing it there. And professional services, I, I think we're going to need this, especially for legal. Mm -hmm. I mean, between what's going on at, and we'll get, cover that later in the, in the, in the agenda, but it's going on on Rollins Road, trying to solve that boondoggle at 112, I think it is, mm -hmm. Rollins Road. We've got a compound that needs to be dealt with on Clement Road. I mean, that's been ignored for 40 years. The man's coming and laughed at us and said he's ignored us for 40 years. Um, and there are other issues that we deal with from time to time. We, we have a, a bill here from McEnany Surveying that we haven't paid all the way. We need to discuss. I don't think it's prudent to take that money out of, out of those professional services. Now, can we find? I've asked Caroline to, to figure out. This is my long way of pointing by saying I absolutely agree with you on that. So I don't mean to. <laughs> I, I, I want to strive at not pontificating, but pontificating the state at meetings and keeping the meetings going longer than they need to. But um, and this is important, I think. Um, I think we can find the money. It's approximately. Let me pull it up and give you the, the more exact approximation. Uh, I don't know if she's CC if you want it because I am on it. I, I wasn't I've sure if I was going to bring it up or not tonight, but how much did, did you see it right there? I'm trying to, oh. my computer's like <laughs> slow down here. Yeah, I just keep saying I need to buy a new laptop, and I haven't yet. Okay, so it's approximately um, $4,300, give or take a little, could be a, a little less, could be. Oh, sorry, it could be $100 more because of um, uh, life and disability insurance. Okay, so let's just say for sake of argument, $3,400. I rather $4,400, which is certainly a stark contrast to um, the... Um, just for Caroline. That's just Caroline. That's, okay. that's to add the additional eight hours, and that's through the end of the year. And then we can, we can revisit this through, the, <coughs> through regular order through the budget process, which is what I think should happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, personally, that's why we have a budget process. Now, we all know that life happens, and we can't let the perfect be the enemy. Of, no, can't let whatever the, whatever the saying is. Perfect be the enemy of the possible, whatever the saying is. But we should be striving to go through regular order, I think, yeah. through the budget process. That's just my opinion. So, But I agree with you. We need... Whether she left or not, we still need the additional uh, hours. And it'll be interesting, I'm pointing at the imagining person who's not sitting there, um, when Lorraine Hansen came in, was it just last week, asking if we'd have a, a public hearing. I mean, that could be part of, 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 the, of the process while I'm listening to whether or not they, this committee thinks we need to have whatever form of additional administrative support. That's what we are playing in the back of my mind, what we have now and what we've had to increase and what further needs to be increased, or doesn't need to be increased. So. so, what I think should happen then, this is the payroll week this week, um, so it's, it'll be okay if we make the decision next week, the formal decision next week, okay. to do this, um, uh, because we, we don't start, we, we try not to start this unless it's in at the beginning of a new payroll week. Um, um, because I want the, I want a, a more. This is just an estimate. I want a more, uh, uh, a more, d a deeper dive to make sure she has all the right numbers. I don't want to prove the, the wrong numbers. So that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. But I agree with you. We need to, uh, we need to increase her hours. And, and I asked her if she would be willing to do it, but I want to just assume that's the other part of the conversation we never had. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? We had, we had this imaginary bookkeeper that was going to work ten hours a week and um, for not much money and. 
we were just assuming that our employee would have worked those extra hours. Mm -hmm. I'd asked her today, and she confirmed that she would be willing if that's what our wishes were. Mm -hmm. So that's also good to know. Now, Susan may have had that conversation. It just didn't. We hadn't had it with her yet, mm -hmm. so she probably did. But just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, so we will let's table that then. And t if that's okay, we'll table till um, next week when we get the final numbers. Okay. We're we'll waiting. Um, final numbers. Okay, uh, and we're tabling the town hall portico. All of us are going back in the agenda until I can find someone who can do this information. ConCom fund management. Refer to NHNA email. Did we talk about this last week? No. Oh. We did. Yes. Okay, so I just want to give a quick update. Uh, I'm not going to rehash what we talked about, but I, I've been emailing, and I believe I've, I've been forwarding them to you, um, yeah. with, the, with the treasurer, uh, Vern Brozier, who uh, is, is in agreement that this is, uh, he needs to be the one writing the checks uh, at the direction of the CONCOM, the majority of the CONCOM. Um, what we found out, though... Wasn't that confusing? Mm -hmm. It is confusing, yes. Well, so yeah. what we found out, though, what, there was two accounts. And he's been giving us an accounting of the account that he pretty much knew about. I mean, right. you can't expect someone to give us an accounting of an account that he didn't know we had license over. Um, but he does, apparently. So we've had Caroline... Checked at the bank. The signator signatories are us. I know. Uh, and Vern. <laughs> I apologize. But the I poor guy didn't, didn't realize it. that the treasurer had agency over it. But why do we? That's, I thought it was the, commi the commission. So I think it's a, the, we're still trying to figure it out. But uh, the, we shouldn't actually go for accounts about it. Thank you. I think well, no, I think they should just purge one. And, and, and I guess an argument could have been made at one time that you may get. Slightly better interest in the statement, not anymore. So, no. um, neither of them are, are, are really interest bearing accounts. So, I, w I would, you know, work, assuming we should work with the treasurer and try to consolidate them yeah. into account. And, and the, cons uh, the um, Conservation Commission as well, of course, because they're, they're fun. But, um, so, it's still in the works. We're still trying to figure out. But there, there is a signature card that says that we are in there. Yeah. Which I thought. Was only for the town, not for that. Yeah. Well, so they must have changed everything. See, I thought it was for yeah, just for the checking because right. I wasn't really I wasn't aware of the savings account. I thought it was all one account too. So. Well, I didn't think it was the checking for the conservation account, only for the town account. Oh, you that we're signed. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. why why I, I'm I'm I really well, quite confused we're, about we're, why we were on that. One. We're trying to figure that out with citizens. I think they might have changed everything that had. Kind of wrong. So, yeah. And we need to make sure that Suzanne has been removed as a signatory. Oh, yeah. And, and that payroll thing got taken care of, right? Yeah, that yeah. Did, okay. that got taken right. care of. But. So, I just want to make sure everyone yeah. knows that it has not been forgotten about. We will, and so when I say table, it's not to pass the buck, it's because we're actually working with the bank to try to figure out <coughs> what the, and the treasurer what the best course of action is. So, he should be able to speak to them. Because he's on there. Yeah. 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 Which I, well, he had he said didn't he wasn't. Know, but he, he didn't know he was on it, right. Was <laughs> right. You can't fault someone for <laughs> nope. for not doing something if they don't know they're allowed yep. to do it. So because he, you know, he was very clear in his email to me. He was like, "Well, I'm willing to help, but you know, they're very particular about who nope. talk." And, and they are. And fair enough, they yeah. should be. Um, but he's on there, so yeah. we'll try to figure that out. Okay. So moving on to D transfer station stickers from one vehicle to the next. Um, Roman I, review proposed changes. So Caroline should have printed out for you yeah. the proposed ordinance changes. What I think would be helpful, and I think we can do it quickly this evening, um, is to go through them and show you, uh, it's all in red. Um, the majority of the changes are um, I changed uh, the select men uh, to uh, the select board mm -hmm. because uh, not all men, so I think it would be appropriate to reflect that. Um, so that's the, that, that, those are the biggest changes, or the most consistent changes across the board. But um, if you go to page two, section F, permit sticker, uh, means an adhesive decal which, when properly displayed on the windshield or front bumper of a motor vehicle, should change that. I didn't change that. It should be displayed on the windshield, which is strike or front bumper. 
defense. They don't. Mm -hmm. So they don't do it there anymore. I displayed on the windshield of a motor vehicle authorizes the lawful holder thereof to dispose of solid waste subject to the other provisions of this ordinance. No person may lawfully hold such a sticker except a resident of the town or a non-resident in the new section that I've added is comma, as authorized by the select board mm -hmm. because we do have, like, the village vet mm -hmm. has no place to put a, even if he he wanted to, to pay for a garbage down the street, he has no place to put it. Mm -hmm. So he generates uh, at most one little bag of garbage a week, he says, and sometimes not even every week. Um, we've had no complaints from the transfer station employees. Um, as authorized by the select board, who owns real property within the town, period. New sentence that I'm proposing we add. Permit stickers are transferable between vehicles registered to the same owner after paying a replacement fee as determined by the select board. And that will be in the, in the fee schedule. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, are you, uh, do you have any objections to those, those sections? Okay. Uh, H, the proper disposal. Means, this is existing language, with respect to solid waste, generally the disposition of solid waste at the facility and area designated to receive that particular waste. With respect to recyclable materials, proper disposal means appropriate separation and preparation of items intended for disposal. Recyclables, as determined by the select board, uh, must be separated and prepared as outlined uh, by the board, period. It currently reads on the recycling handout, which is available both at Town Hall and the Solid Waste Facility, mm -hmm. which it's not right now. It's isn't, isn't not always available. So I think to be consistent, it just be as outlined by the select board because you know we're, we're changing, we've had to change the policy again this year to reflect the market. So it's, I think it's safer just to do that. Any objections to mm -hmm. that? Okay. Uh, section two, general use. Uh, I've added the word authorized businesses because it just says businesses. <coughs> you can any business in the town is uh, allowed to do it, which is in contradiction to section <coughs> one of the So. Um, I think that was appropriate, um, and in the same section, I've added um, select board again. But all landlords operating in the town of Rollinsford with more than four rental units in a building must supply adequate waste removal for their tenants. Failure to provide adequate waste removal shall result in daily fines. Um, it needs. It needs. Uh, I think I need to talk to Bob and see what um, to be consistent with the other fines in town. But um, how are you feeling in general about that? Does it sound reasonable that because we know we ran into that problem of we said uh, f uh, four or more? But so it has to be well, consistent, it's more than right? Four, so it's sort of so being consistent so, with the yeah. um, with the other ordinance that we just passed. Yeah. So we can enforce it. That's the that's No, I, I'm fine with that as, okay. as long as we properly inform the landlords yep. that are having these buildings mm -hmm. up front. And yeah. yeah. I I'm believe they wanted the, the building inspectors and, and code enforcement officers suggest that it might be better to wait until this is this is updated. Yep. So um, so it's consistent. So you can actually enforce it consistently. Mm -hmm. So the only other change is then um, on page, well, it doesn't have page number, section three, operation of uh, substitute the select board for select men again. Um, ah, so user fees. When it talks about the permit, so it's ten dollars a year. I have not seen that it's one for one year. Um, and it, but it says it's payable at the beginning of each calendar year. Well, if you move in to Rollins or in July, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's rather impossible for you have, to have gotten a permit <laughs> at the beginning of the calendar year. So I just uh, uh, submitted uh, or added um, or at time of residency. So you're gonna. So the fee isn't changing. You're just saying no matter when you become a resident, Correct. you will have to pay the ten dollars for the rest of the Correct. year. Correct. Okay. Because I know that's been a bone of contention with the town clerk. Well, why didn't they come in and get this at the beginning of the year? Well, well or if they didn't live here. Yeah. yeah. Um, rather difficult, but that is what the ordinance says. They're supposed to do it then. So, which uh, didn't seem feasible to me. Uh, fines, I just changed select board, or mm -hmm. swapped out for select the select board. Uh, enforcement procedure, uh, the Summers Road District Court doesn't exist anymore. It's going to be difficult to send people there. It's the Circuit Court Dover District. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've made that update. Um, and every other change is Substituting select men 
for a select board except for the last page where um, I don't think Jody wants to sign it. It would be it would be you. Me. Yeah. So. And um, we well, actually, we have to take Suzanne well. off too. Yeah. Okay. So, are you okay with me making those two change that, that change and figuring out what the fee is, or see if Bob thinks it's accepted. Well, he might be in tonight actually to see if he thinks that it's okay just to say daily fines. I, I want to make sure we get this on the agenda. For, yeah. for, I want to make sure the notice is sent out. Um, that's the next thing. Uh, notice for public hearing on 8.20 or 6 p.m. here. And this public hearing is for what purpose? For, to you have to because you're changing an ordinance. Okay. And we we have license to, to change this um, uh, by the enacting uh, authority under RSA. Uh, what, 149, 813. Okay. And so the town meeting of 1990. So 820 is a, is a Monday night, which is meeting a half an hour early. Okay. Yeah. So the only other change, though, is uh, under uh, loss sticker. I, I've got a new section, you know, we've got white goods, propane, tires. I have a uh, proposed loss sticker, replacement fee of $5. Mm -hmm. Which seemed reasonable enough to me. I'm sure the general public will tell us if they do not think it's reasonable. So you're okay with sending this to, uh, we'll do a motion to send this to public hearing? I can. Okay. Uh, well, you're going to wait until you get the... Uh, well, I, I want to make sure we can send the notice out, so... Okay, you can send the notice and then we can finalize it next week, if you have the fee in there, or are you going to yeah. just put it in? Yeah. Okay. What? Are you okay with... Um, so bringing it forward to the town meeting, to a public hearing, yes. Okay. I'll second that, all in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. And then we can amend it if we need to. But, okay. So I will inform... Um, Caroline and Tia that we're going to have a both public hearing on 8.20 at 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, Non-smoking policy, I'd like to leave that on there, but I don't think we need to take it up just yet. We have a few other pressing things we need to deal with, but I don't want to lose sight of it. Do we need to do something with this? With what? The road, the road plan? Or the, make the, the Yes, it's on... Is it still down there? Somewhere. Down? Yeah, it's further down. Okay, sorry. No, no we definitely do that. Okay. Uh, recreation. Okay. Just a general update. Oh, for, I guess. oh, okay. This is the last week. Yep. Um, Very sad. Yeah, At least for my yeah, one six-year-old. Yeah, anyway. yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's going really well. Um, we did get a legal opinion on the um, the uh, pools. I still have to reread it. Um, but I mean, bottom line is, as long as you follow safety and this and that, and uh, they just they're, they're only this high, you know. But they just have to make sure. I don't know what you're talking. They're all the wind blow up pools down there, so I needed to get a. Pymax approval. Oh, 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 oh. Cool. On it just to make sure that so we're liability. Okay. liability okay. part okay. of it. Okay. So, bottom line is we're covered as long as we follow all the rules, so to say, you know. Okay. Um, so, um, there's a protocol for watching them and all that. Yeah, okay. yeah, that kind of stuff. So. All right. Um, but everything went well. Um, I did get an update um, from Dean on um, Camp Raleigh, uh, yep. although I have many, many questions, so I'm going to wait until next week and I can give you better answers. Budget update? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. fine. I saw the email. I... Yeah, I just, um, I was a little confused by a few things, so I want to talk to you. Okay. Online. So right, making well, we'll sure that, that they time. both are giving each other yep. information. But um, yeah, I think it went really, really well. So we're definitely going to start working earlier okay. on budget. and. Um, Perfect. For what's going to be for next year? Everyone's still on board, so it's a, certainly a learning process for <laughs> yeah, everybody, for right? Sure. I mean, they created a, a, I think, a very wonderful program out of thin air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, certainly much different than what we did before. Yeah, and absolutely. They're trying, and I applaud them. And yeah, we're just volunteer spirit. We have to be closer to if you know we don't want to have a town pay any t by taxation. We right. have to be better about yeah. possibly increasing fees. Yes. So and and they're kind of bucking me on that. But well, and well as someone who pays them, yeah. I will tell you that they are very, very, very reasonable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I mean we'll, we'll talk about it and we'll we'll definitely work around, you know, try to get it. You know and I get um, it you don't want to price out families. I understand that hundred percent, mm -hmm. but I think a modest increase would probably I, I think so. So. Cover costs. Or one less field trip or this to reduce your budget. Yeah, you know, there's work for sure. ways around it. Yeah, so for sure. we're definitely gonna work early. Um, um D and I are gonna work on that together okay. and and get the budget for present this get ready for the, yep. for the budget season. Yeah. Awesome. So all right.
112 Rollins Road. So our legal counsel has sent a letter mm -hmm. to the owner. Um, it is an ongoing legal issue, so we won't talk about all the particulars, but um, uh, an issue, uh, a letter has been issued yeah, with a, a date certain, so mm -hmm. that, there needs to be a reply. So we will await the response and see what our legal counsel suggests, but it is certainly has not been forgotten. Um, road project announcement. All right, so there's the back. Yes, <laughs> That's oh, right. okay. This is it. So, so Suzanne was kind enough to um, to prepare a um, uh, notice to go out on the town uh, uh, website and uh, to email distribution list. It seemed good to me. It I did. I, I replied as well that it was good. Uh, okay, just uh, updating folks on, on the major projects in town, okay. the Woods Run, River Road, uh, Roberts Farm. Um, work that was done. We can. Do you need the link? To email to you. I'll send it. Okay. Okay. Um, George has had a um, uh, an idea of dealing with um, nuisance uh, driveway culverts um, to encourage residents. He's still working on a plan. That's why she says stay tuned. Um, but it may generate some interest from folks. Uh, discussing that. And, um, and then remaining projects that he is working on. Um, again, it says stay tuned, but at least let folks know that there's still some minor road repairs that will be going on. Although, I think, why don't we wait until after tomorrow? Because there may be a, a major, I, I want to be able to give folks a, a, an update on, on uh, when Oak Street's going to be started. It's going to be some time oh, okay. this week. Yep, yep, so yep. we're sending out an email tomorrow anyways, or later tonight. Why don't mm -hmm. we just wait and do it. The meeting's at 1 o'clock tomorrow. So okay. um, it'll be going out tomorrow afternoon, just so they know that um, uh, what day that's going to start. So folks can know to avoid mm -hmm. Oak Street for a couple of days anyways, or at least a day. All right. So we'll hold that. Oh, but other than that, are we okay to send this out? Yes. Pending that? I, okay. Yep, I think okay. it looks good. Perfect. Um, road project announcement. Okay, so it's a payment for Dover survey. Okay. So we've already paid for the actual survey. So for the last, at least five years that I've been sitting here, uh, four and a half years, um, we have been <laughs> trying to um, decide where the Oak Street boundary is, mm -hmm. and so we contracted Kevin McEnany and his firm to a survey. And Dover paid for half, and we paid for the other half. Part of that was um, also uh, setting boundary markers, granite markers, mm -hmm. so we actually knew. Um, and surprise, surprise, not just setting the monuments, but actually recording it at the registry, mm -hmm. because this is a worthless piece of paper. Any of it is a worthless piece of paper unless you actually register it, record it at the registry. Mm -hmm. um, there were fees associated with that, and we knew they were coming. We just hadn't gotten them yet. So we got a bill in March, apparently. We've been holding on to it. Uh, it's $1,719.50. It was for additional research, updating the plans that were recorded on 10-217. Um, and it gives you a book and page number if you want it. Uh, the actual recording fee for the update, uh, locate the, um, the control, that is, you can't set a, you can't set the, the, the monument where it actually, sh where it should be, because that would be the middle of, oh, you can't put a grand monument in the middle of Oak Street, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's, um, it's locating where the control would be, so, so you could offset from there, and then setting monuments where that offset would be. That was completed on December 1st of 2017. So I would suggest we well, we would, might want to pay Mr. McEnany for his work. Uh, and it's $1,719.50. Okay. Is that uh, something that you are okay with? Yeah. We'll like find it somewhere on the budget. Yep. I'll make a motion to pay, um, what is it? McEnany, McEnany Survey. McEnany Survey Associates. Or 1719 $1,719.50. I'll second that. Yeah. All those in favor, aye. Aye. All right, let's pay Mr. McEnany for his work. Finally, our result, where we finished the boundary dispute. Now, tomorrow I'm going to work with them to start talking about uh, the MOU, MAU, or M MOA, okay. the, 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 the agreement on, on maintenance. Okay. Winter
winter maintenance, summer maintenance, that sort of yep. thing. Um, we pay, or rather, we uh, we plow this part, we plow another one for us. Right, right. There's always an offset, so. Yep. That's what I'm going to work on tomorrow afternoon with that. Well, give that to me Thank you. Here. Alright, so we have paid that bill finally. Something to cross off this list. Uh, transfer station post closure report. I started working on that today with uh, with Caroline. I've got to reach out to the Department of Environmental Services. Uh, water, it's in the water unit, not the air quality. To discuss um, how to fill this form out. They told us we didn't need to originally. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to table that until I have more updates. That's it. That's the, that's, that's the, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I have an electronic copy. Oh, okay. Uh, but I need that, so that's why I actually have to fill yeah, this is As a PDF, it's not one I can even. Yes. Okay. Calls integrity. I want to leave this on. Uh, Mr. Uh, Clark is working to get the list of the conditions. They were never um, they were never printed out and put in the file uh, when they were approved uh, by the planning board. Uh, we have a different process in place now. They get printed out and they get recorded. Okay. Um, Fine, but we didn't do that at the time. So we are holding on for Mr. Clark to figure out if he can get a copy of those from the engineering firm that worked with uh, Mr. Miller when he was developing the site plan down uh, at Paul's Integrity. So stay tuned. <coughs> okay. Town administration, standing items. Board member activities, what do we have going on this week? I don't have anything. You're lucky for once. I'm not going one right yeah. now. All right, well, tomorrow I'm going to meet with, like I said, the city of Dover with their. Um, Public Works Department and City Manager to start discussing um, uh, how we're going to handle Oak Street. Mm -hmm. um, we've, and what the paving schedule might look like. We've already approved, obviously, you know, uh, paving, paying that portion. Mm -hmm. George thinks he can manage it within his paving budget if he doesn't do the, the culvert work over on Sligo. Which he says he doesn't like need to. Yeah, it sounds like it's doing For this right. year, anyways, he thinks he wants to hold it off, so he's the Road agent, I'm not. I'm going to follow his advice. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't think um, just uh, my list, laundry list of things I need to work <laughs> on, but that's uh, part and parcel of the job. So that's what you signed up for. All right, we signed up for. Um, anyway, all right. Building permits. We don't have any tonight, anyways, but. Um, some point, not tonight, but because I don't have the energy for whether or not it's at least read, read the list. I, I, it doesn't take that long. Anyway, um, uh, so we do need to sign off, though, on the uh, re the uh, abatements uh, for Andrea. These are the ones that we've already publicly announced, um, so we will sign off on them. It's the, there's five of them. The notices of whether or not they were getting or they weren't getting them, I believe, um, more than five, wasn't there? These are the ones that are getting them, so I'm These are the folks that Avatar thought um, deserved. Um, oh, recently. Uh, okay. The other ones were just denied. They were the denial. Okay. So they will become part of the public record. Um, okay. Yeah, so we quickly. of uh, correspondence when we are done. And then we can be created input and we will be done for you. Just the fire chief or the police chief come running over. Or anyone else. Oh, you can look at that well. Oh. I'm doing this. Is it for legal? Uh, uh, it's a legal bill.
want me to put, is there a folder for those to go in? Yep, I gotta oh, okay. put those back. Okay. Back here, um, so this is uh, New Hampshire Municipal Bond Bank. Um, Caroline has a note here saying this is correct. See attached. Um, okay. That totals on the bottom of the attached page interest and form. There's Perfect. just a note saying that they don't have the last payment on there. So it just okay. has to be signed. Uh, purchase order 1478, indoor accent, $220. This is for um, 19 camp um, activity, birthday party, I'm not sure what that means, um, but this was part of their budget. Oh, quote unquote, so it's not like an actual one. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. so you moved uh, purchase order number yep. 1478. I will do indoor ascent. I will uh, second. from the Shipyard, um, Seaco Shipyard Association to Suzanne inquiring whether the Town of Bronto approves a request for 2018 allocation of $100 to the Seaco Shipyard Association for the continuation of its work on behalf of the Coastal Table Shipyard. And there is a form to fill out saying yes, we did or no, we didn't. We, we it was did. part of the budget, yes, yeah. we did. Right, are you okay with us signing off on still being part of the... Yes, we did. We did. Yep. We budgeted $100. So. Yep. Funds will be released. When do we want to pay them? At the end of the year? Yeah. Um, they're not saying when, they're just saying did we, so we yeah. just send yeah. it. They want to know when they can expect $100. Yeah. All right, we can do it this week if you want, only $100. We've budgeted for it, so it's yeah. not going to break the bank, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, are you okay with it? Yeah. So we're saying yeah. we'll release it. I don't know. I don't we'll just go by the end. 9 1. No, okay. Yeah, I was going to say. Okay, so the following is the notification of the State Highway Block Grant Aid available to your town in State, uh, in state Fiscal 2019. Um, state Highway Block Grant Aid anticipated to be available for Town of Rollinsford. Uh, $59,777.52. Like yep. Okay. So what we should do is hold Yeah, because if not, we have better we have better buying power. We, okay. we, 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 you know, 
pool with them and go to the same company. Okay, you going to sign this? Oh, is Carolyn? I'm waiting until she provides the information before it. I don't want to just sign it. And... Oh, okay, so you get to follow up. Okay. Yeah. And this one is. That is complete because you signed that one. And this is a follow up. Okay. Is that okay. it? Yep. Green input? All right, let's go home by consensus. The meeting is adjourned at 749.